All right, guys, KK4PYN back again with you here. And I uh, just want to do a real quick video. Um, I'm clearing out all my retro computers. I don't have the room for them anymore. Uh, I don't use them as much as I should. And they need to go to a new home. So I'm rehoming them. They're for sale, all of them. And I will sell them reasonably. I'm not trying to make a million dollars. And if you guys, my followers and subscribers, don't want them, then they're going on eBay. So... Um, if you do want them, let me know, or, you know, obviously you don't have to buy all of them, but, uh, in the comments or on Twitter at KK4PYN, and we'll work out some sort of deal. They'll be extremely well packed and shipped out to you. Um, you know, you can just, I'll send you a uh, PayPal invoice. Anyway, so to start off with, we got the Atari 400, um, fully cleaned, working, operational. Um, I do have the metal door that goes there. Uh, the adhesive just failed. Um, this machine's been fully cleaned. It's got the video cord sticking out of it. It works fine. I've also got two original Atari joysticks with it, which are kind of nice. That work fine. And two paddles. And an original power brick. Um, so it powers up and works fine. Again, I'll say that over and over because I want you to realize that it works fine. Uh, I can play Star Raiders on it, which if you swing over here, I'll try not to make you dizzy. Um, I got a Star Raider cartridge for it, and this is all going to come as a, a bundle. It's all going to be shipped out together. I also got the basic language, because when you fire it up, all it does is the memo pad. Um, another kind of nice thing, I was thinking about selling this separately, but um, it would be worth the, the bundle itself, as I got the basic book. You even got the box for the basic cartridge. Uh, owner's guide, some kind of just general Atari stuff there. Um, Lucy, you want the Atari? No? Okay. She doesn't want it. Anyway, um, it works. It's for sale. I won't discuss prices on here. If you are interested, um, you know, shoot me a message down in the comments or on, on Twitter. Um, also have the... VIC-20, um, I use the Commodore 64 as my main retro computer, it's the one that I spend money on, I rebuilt it, did everything. This VIC-20 works fine, it's been completely disassembled and cleaned, um, there's very little yellowing on it, uh, there's a couple spots here and there, but um, keyboard is very silky. Uh, I have completely taken this apart and replaced all the caps, all the capacitors inside, and the voltage regulator and the fuse. Um, fix the power switch so that it works fine. It also comes with the original power brick. I have two of those. I guess I could send both of them. Um, but anyway, um, back here we've got a Mattel Aquarius. It was thoroughly cleaned. And uh, it powers on and outputs video. It's got the original power brick attached to it. I've also got the data recorder. I do not have the cable to attach those together. But, as you can see, it's super clean, it's very nice. Uh, the, the data recorder is a little bit rough, but it is what it is. Um, but it does power on and the motor spins and all that, so it seems to be, seems to work, I don't know. Um, you know, I, I got these at various places to kind of just have the whole retro gaming thing going on, but most of the stuff I just do in emulation now, I use a Commodore 64 um, as my main retro gaming rig and the rest of it, you know, retro pie or whatever. So, moving along, we got a Tandy 1000 EX. This machine has been disassembled down to the plastics and cleaned. Unfortunately, the keyboard stayed a little bit yellow, uh, like these parts did, but all of the computer looked like this before. Um, so, I managed to get the case super duper clean. You can see the drive is a little bit yellow. This thing works great. I don't have any software or accessories for it, but uh, it works great. The volume knob is awesome with the three and a half millimeter sound jack there. Um, drive seems to work. I don't have any discs or anything to test these things out, so obviously it's all as is. This one's also got some sort of expansion card in here. I didn't really look into it, um, but there you go. So. TND 1000 EX, there's a serial number, and it powers up and, and works good. So, that's that. And last but not least, definitely not least, 
Uh, this is the IBM P70. It's a 3D6. They call this the luggable. <laughs> uh, this is in perfect working order. Um, the drive seems to spin again. I don't I just don't have any old floppies or anything to test these out with The only issue with this computer is that these things that lock the keyboard down are busted um, Don't know if they can be fixed it probably would be easier to just source a new keyboard since the keyboard is detachable But um, this has been thoroughly cleaned. I haven't done anything electrically to it uh, It just it runs. It's great. It boots up to DOS I want to say 6.2 or 6.3, but this thing is absolutely awesome. Uh, I know Clint from LGR wanted one of these, said he didn't have one, but uh, the red plasma display is awesome. Um, Built-in floppy drive here. It does spin and make noise and all that, so I, I assume it works. Um, keyboard. Good old IBM mechanical crunchiness, and it just, it works fine. So everything works good on that. Comes with the owner's guide, and this little system thing. It's got some expansion plugged in the back, don't know what it is, just haven't looked into it. Um, don't really know why I got this, I believe. I thought I could run something else on it that I couldn't, but anyway. That's it. We got the P70 386 Luggable from IBM here. Perfect working condition minus the two little latches. It's going to ship with two pieces of frog tape over the uh, that so it doesn't fall out when you take it out of the box or anything like that. But everything else works great. The latches and all this stuff for the um, keyboard and all that work great. Tandy 1000EX. Mattel Aquarius with the data recorder. A VIC-20. And a... Uh, an Atari 400 over there. Bundle. That's a mega bundle. That's a great bundle. Uh, two joysticks, paddles, power supply, and software and documentation. So, you guys, let me know down in the comments if you want any of this stuff. Uh, we'll make a deal um, off the air, basically, through email or whatever, or Twitter. Um, or just uh, hit me up at Twitter at KK4PYN. And if you haven't already, subscribe. I'm I may bring t back my old channel to do the uh, kind of retro computing stuff because I don't think it really belongs on this one since it's more of a ham radio electronics channel, but who knows? We'll see. Anyway, you guys, this stuff is going on eBay in, in a couple days, um, so I'm just going to offer it up. If I don't hear anything from any of you guys within a day or two, it's it's listing up. Or I may just go ahead and list it, and if somebody does want it, I'll, uh, I'll work something out with you, so... You guys, thanks for watching. Um, sorry it was a horrible echoey video just out in the living room here. I spent, uh, you know, a couple days uh, cleaning all this stuff. You can see all my supplies here. And uh, just making it pretty because it's kind of been in the garage and kind of dusty and sitting around and stuff like that. So that's all. That's all for today. Um, we'll have another video coming out here and maybe today or in the next day or two. Uh, looking at some other stuff and that's all there is. So... Retro Computers, up for sale from KK4PYN. Hit me up here or on Twitter. Thanks for watching, guys.